If not better, if not better, he's a phenomenal finisher. And obviously makes him very difficult to defend because he can fly right over you. And he will get the stuff. Doors and the light finally goes on for a young guy so fun to watch. Younger players who've got all the talent and all the world right in front of them, but yet haven't put it all together just quite yet. It's amazing to me how quickly we can give up on a young guy who maybe doesn't find success right out of the gate. But the reality is you have to remember, player development. As athletic a move as you're going to see right there. Unreal. How about the hang time on that thing? Wow. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Langford, the pass to Teague. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I'll tell you, how about a high percentage opportunity from Jeff Teague? As a scorer, you love to get those easy ones. Here's the professor. Pass to Red Hot. Fires from deep. Hayward grabs the board. The defense lost him there, and he should have made him pay. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's the professor. Teague covering. Here's Easy Breezy. Good on the baseline, Jay. Easy Breezy's got his second basket of the night. And it's Teague with the ball, but he brings it up for Indiana. It's a three-point game. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. I think, Greg, you can't expect to win with that kind of effort. The defense was... Jay guarded by Harden. And a missed layup. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Now here is Holiday, following the miss by Montrez Harrell. T, he's covered by Brown, and the shot goes in. No reason to overcomplicate an easy shot, but hey, He's still got it to go. T's gone two or three from the floor. Round kicks to Harold. And Harold slams it in. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. And the D had no answer for that move. Beautifully done. Easy layup. To the middle. Stolen by O'Neal. Here's T. And it's sent back by Drummond. The three from Harden. Traps in the tray. Harden's got ten points in the game. See, this is how you dictate the flow of the game. He's been lit this quarter. He's covered by Brown. Here's O'Neal. Out to the right wing. Holiday dishes to O'Neal. The good looking shot from the wing. Gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. It's Brown on the wing. Connects from three point range. of options. Right. And it's our responsibility, it was Michael's and Scotty's responsibility, to figure out how to put Luke Long, how to put Derek Fisher in the right spot on the floor to take advantage of the defense that you're facing. Sounds complicated. No, but you know, when you, when you look at it, like the triangle, it spells things out very simplistically because you have rules. Right. When you have rules, then it's very easy to say, okay, when this happens, this happens. Mm -hmm. When that happens, this happens. Right? So it makes the game very, very easy to measure. And so things don't happen on accident. Like they happen with intent. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Jordan Clarkson. He's out there with DeRozan. Randall out there with Young. And it's Siakam in the fourth. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Left side, DeRozan. Okay, 
That shot, no good. Here's Money. He's covered by Clarkson. Steps back and fires. Picked his pocket. The putback lights out. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, and how about the stick to itiveness on that possession? Stayed with it, didn't give up until the ball was in the basket. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Kobe are so decorated in every way individually and as a teammate with the five championships of all the things, the all-star games, the all-defense, all the individual things you've accomplished, what is the one thing you, you might cherish? And you may have alluded to it with the championships, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but at the end of the day, is that the one thing above everything else that you covet? Um, no, you know, I... I... Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there, right there. And that's rocking the rim. Give him the two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. And there's the pass to Z. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. It's his first trip to the line. At the line. Z. Two shots. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. Clarkson kicks to Young. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Kicks it to Green for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And, Kevin, you think about the importance of veteran mentorship for young players. Looking back, who provided that mentorship for you? Sam Mitchell, Terry Porter, shout to Doug West, shout to J.R. Vada, shout to, you know, Christian Layton. All these are my vets. Both good and bad. I'm learning something from all these guys. Mm -hmm. um, shout to Kevin McHale. Shout to, uh, rest in peace to the great Flip Saunders. These are all my vets who helped me progress as a guy and as a player. More importantly, um, took me under their wing, taught me finances, taught me about life, taught me how to be a young man, taught me about being professional, learning this book of business when it came to basketball because when it comes to lockouts and all that stuff, when you have... Oh, good talk about bringing the heat, the thunder, and the lightning on that pound. Yeah, you know, we know this about Frazier, tremendously creative both as a scorer and as a playmaker. That instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Pastor Williamson out to the right wing. Cool hands. It's good from long range. And, guys, this is what you like to see early on, gaining a little confidence from range. Yeah, and you know it, Greg. Oftentimes, you get that first one to drop, and your confidence rises like yeast. It's good to get into a rhythm at the start of the game, no doubt. Here's Aiton, and the bucket is good. Three-point play That's chance good. here for him. With just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiton, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. On the free throw, no good. Gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And he just dangles and from the Jordan, bucket. The all-time leader in career field goal percentage, break by a sizable margin. Yeah, the most prolific dunker in the league, maybe in league history. Well, this is how you want to start off. Wow, absolutely. Grabbing the lead right from the get-go, getting into an early rhythm. I love it. Here's Conley. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Golden State. His passing definitely came into play as well, Kev. He was very unselfish, really kept the ball moving. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Porter. Takes the three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. 
Porter's got himself on the board with three there. He's known as more steady than flashy, but that was a sensational pass by Conley. He can get fancy when he needs to. Here's Barnes. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. Really left alone that time. You know, they work the ball into ideal position there to get the high-quality look. Gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Jacks up a three, and that one's good by G. Boy, that makes them four out of five to start this thing. They're finding very good shots early on. Conley kicks to Adams. Back to Conley. It's three on three on the fast break. Lobs it up for Jordan. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And how about the vertical of Jordan easily rising up for the timely alley-oop slam? And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Now here is Conley. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Here's money. They get it back. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. This guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, he's done lineup. Now. They've got Tristan Thompson. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Red Hot. Then there's Murray. And it's Drake in at the point guard position. One last time out these days, both in the final three minutes of regulation, Brent, and overtime. Do you see an impact in close games so far with that? Yeah, I think coaches now have to be very diligent and very selective about when it is they want to stop the game, Kevin. As you know, that timeout also allows you to advance the ball. And we sure. saw it last year with this being sort of the, the lab for it. Many coaches who, who took timeouts that cost them chances on the free throw where normally we would see the advancement of the ball. They had to go full court. So teams are still examining how they want to run the last three minutes, what they want to do with the timeouts, and it, it makes for a lot more drama if the game is closer, that's for sure. I like having these coaches having to make big decisions like that, too. I like it, too, because you like to see just how good the coaches are and then how many players can carry out maybe something that has a, a counteraction or some kind of slip screen uh, where they execute something that carries over from clipboard to hardwood. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Thomas gets a wide-open look, drops in the tray. Thomas got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. From distance, when he gets into a rhythm early, it makes this offense a lot more dynamic. Well, great to get him involved, particularly at the start of the game. This is what keeps guys engaged. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Now here's Levine. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. And right in the teeth of the defense, making a statement early in this one. Yeah, pinpointing the rim protection with that attack, and no one makes enough of an effort there to stop him. Wiggins against George. Wiggins drives in. Well, and he breaks out the tomahawk. No soft finish there. Pure power. Yeah, we could feel that one all the way over here. For three, Roy, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Stolen by Levine. Side Thomas on the wing, George. And it's Paul George with the finish. Paul George dunk contest, eh, maybe a, a little older, but I love to see him get up. 